Hi, and welcome to .NET Nuke Module Development. I'm your instructor, Scott Wilkinson. This is part two of a multi-part series on creating a custom module for .NET Nuke 6. In part one, we went over the tools needed to create a custom module, as well as installed .NET Nuke 6 on our system. In part two, we'll be learning how to create the Visual Studio project for our module and configure it in .NET Nuke. In order to do this, we'll download the template, we'll install the template and the required MS build tasks, we'll configure and build the module project, and then we'll register the module in DNN. I've navigated over to christalktemplate.coplex.com. This is where we're going to download the template. But before we do that, we need to download this MS build community tasks. The MS build community tasks are extension tasks for the MS build core. One of the extensions that we need is the automated zip extension which allows us to build a zip file. The template uses MS build to automate the packaging of our .NET Nuke module and as you probably already know the packaging is a zip which contains the DNN manifest and all the code and dependencies of your module. So if you haven't already done so download the MS Build Community Task by clicking on the link on the on the template page. This will take you to the Tigris site, which you can scroll down to the bottom, and it's right here, MS Build Community Task.msi. Download and install this first, and then go back to the template page. And then when you're ready to install the template, click the download button here. Save the template to your hard drive and the way we'll install it is by finding where we where we downloaded it which is in my downloads folder here as you can see the template itself is a zip file and to install it we simply need to navigate to our my documents visual studio and in my case it would be visual studio 2010 templates project templates visual c sharp web and if you don't have this web folder go ahead and just create it and then just drop the zip file in this folder it's as simple as that 